All right. I have a theory. This is a test of faith. Do I have faith in Mick? Yes. Welcome back, everybody, to Diamond Sword RPG. Uh, the official walkthrough. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to get a little bit of a bird's eye view here for us. So, last episode, we completed the Ice Dungeon and we visited the Icewind Plains Village. Now, we got a couple of things from the village and from the uh, dungeon. First things first, we got this key map. So, four locations where we have to go to with this pickaxe. Um, mine out the blocks that are blocking us. That's an iron ore that we can only mine when we get the pickaxe of secrets and get whatever's behind them. The other thing we got is the library secret in the Green Town Li or this book, the uh, the library secret in the Green Town Library, where you see eight stone buttons in a row. Press two, four, five, eight, and the lights above should glow. So this episode, we're gonna go track down these uh, locations on the key map, get whatever it is from them, and then we're gonna go to the library and hopefully gain access to the next dungeon. So the first spot here in the bottom uh, right-hand corner is actually just outside of the wool shop here in the uh, the Swampy Grove Pass. Get a good look at that. And I think it's just here in this pool of water. And I think we visited this a little bit earlier in the series. Yes, so here's this uh, iron block we couldn't get into. Oh, these are actually their own standalone dungeons. This is actually something very new. Uh, I think Mick said at one point that there were different dungeons added in. This must be one of them. Oh my. Oh, ambush! Whoa! Okay, are these- these are undead. Actually all undead. I got ambushed with there real bad. Where did that even come from? So we might actually- not actually be able to get all the keys this episode. I was not expecting this. Wow, this is incredible. Undead mace. Oh, there's no knockback. Well, I have to fight my way. Through the F. I have to fight my... Okay. So we're flying blind here. Uh, this is actually quite shocking for me. We're, we're flying completely blind here. Ooh, that looks like that's... Oh, nope. There's, there is actually floor. That's a bowman. Ooh, he got me. Ooh, these guys are tough. All right, we're moving in for the kill. Wow. This build is awesome. All right, I want to grab a... I think I'm going to grab... This is my screenshot for the next episode, or for this episode. Oh, I see something there behind the waterfall. That must be what we need to mine out, but I'm a sucker for exploring everything, and I know there's usually stuff behind the waterfall. Okay, interesting. There actually looks like there is something behind the waterfall, but I want to mine out this down here. And this very well could be a shortcut. Whoa. Okay, never mind. That's the screenshot. I see a... I thought I saw a lever. There's a lever there. Okay, I'm gonna go back up the waterfall. Yeah, we're gonna be flying a little blind here. Wow, this is incredible. Oh, so it was just pointing out that there was that... Okay. 
So if I had missed the iron ore, it would have pointed me back towards behind the waterfall. Ah ha ha ha, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Can't pull a fast one on me, too smart. Wow. And here I thought we were going to be able to get to the library today. I'm thinking we're not going to be able to. We might be making it to the library dungeon next episode. I was just... So, in, in previous iterations of this map, you mine out the blocks, and there's just... There was armor. Now you mine out the blocks, and there's a whole friggin' dungeon. I don't like this. I feel like something needs to be jumping out trying to kill me. But it looks like it's just... Harmless emeralds for sidetracking. I suspect that is not the case. Wow, this is an incredible build. What do we do? Interesting, but not helpful. Ooh. Secret chest. Chest, secret chest. Oh, there must be a... Ah, let's see what this has to say. At the end of the path, when stopped by lava that turns you to flames, don't go back, fall on the lantern on the chains? Stopped by lava that'll turn you to flames. Okay. I don't... So it's just a... Alright. I have a theory. This is a test of faith. Do I have faith in Mick? Yes. Oh! Invisible blocks. Ah, you sneaky devil, you. Alright, I'm gonna need the web cutter here. Oh, I have the web cutter on me. Wow, that's so good. That is such a good puzzle. You know, you gotta have that trust. You gotta have the trust of the map maker. Oh, I don't like this. No siree, I do not like this. Oh, that's ominous. I feel like the spiders have more health than normal now. Oh, chicken. Lovely. Oh, there we go. There's a chest back there. How'd I miss that? Is there a button somewhere? There must be a button back over here. Ooh, I gotta solve it. Or maybe there just isn't. You know, I'm going to go back in. I'm committing. I'm going back in. This way seems appropriate. A fast ye spider. Oh, I'm stuck. What am I stuck on? Okay. Does this thing have like a bane of arachnus? No, it doesn't. It's just, it just sucks. Okay. Doing, we're doing all right. Uh, shoot. Hmm. Interesting. Is there a hole in the floor? The hole in the floor there. Am I able to access that through another means? Dude, this is like a maze. It's amazing. I have achieved comedy! Yeah. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Oh! Oh my! Why does it have to be spiders? 
Spiders scare the crap out of me. I hate spiders. Now remember, the kids, the fear of spiders is arachnophobia. You better remember because that's going to come up on the test later. Yeah, I, I'm flying a little blind here, so it's... I'm purely finding stuff. Abandoned chest is locked, so we're going to be back here a little later. Place button. I haven't gotten a button. So, did I come here a little early? I very well could have. Okay, let's backtrack to... Let me think. All right, we're going to backtrack a little bit. I suspect that... I don't believe I'm missing something in this room. But I'm going to clear away most of the cobwebs just to be certain. Okay, doesn't look like I'm missing anything in this room. Which tells me that in this room, I did miss something. So this room here, I can't get in. But I can see that there's a chest. I think I need to push this bookshelf. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, need to push it. And there you go. Dude, I'm digging this kind of mini dungeon. I was not expecting this. Okay. Uh, knowing what I know now, we might only get through two of the we won't I only get we might only get through this. Abandoned house chest key. Abandoned house chest key. We definitely need to make sure that we get footage of this dungeon in the trailer. Arrows, so obviously I have something here that I need to shoot. There it is. Blade. 404. You found the blade, a piece of the key that fits into the tumbler of a keyhole. Okay. If the rest of these locations are like that, uh, this episode is going to be very differently formatted than I suspected. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I absolutely love this map and don't mind, like, putting forth the extra effort in solving stuff. Uh, I, this is, like, the first real big change that I've encountered on this map. So where is... So according to the map, right there is where I need to go next. You can tackle these in any order from what I'm guessing. I just happen to, from a flow standpoint, I know that... I would go from the bottom, that it makes more sense to go from the bottom right to the bottom left, up to my house, which is above, and then to the pyramid. So I would basically be going from here to here, up to there where my house is, and then out to that pyramid. Really, you can tackle it in any position you like. I just wanted to tackle it in this particular order, because it, it flowed better in my mind. All right, another trust fall. Do I trust Mick? Yes. Where's out? Out should be here. We go. On point set to this location. Above your head, the numbers are red. Above your head, the numbers are red. Above your head, the numbers are red. I wonder what that means. Above the head, your numbers are red. Dump that and dump this. All right. Oh, a little secret area back here? So that door opened. I will go there in a minute. Oh, a 
above your head the numbers are red, so we're gonna hit these levers in some combination to open up that. I see... I don't necessarily see a number there. Okay, how do I get there? Button! Oh, I don't like this. I don't like feeling rushed. But it didn't matter. Ooh. That was stressful. I'm assuming I've got to shoot this button here. What? That dropped sand. Why? Why is there now sand? I love that shovel. I do have that shovel. Dump you off here. So I obviously need to use the sand for something, but... What? Let me... I'm gonna do something here real quick. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it! Totally made it. I wanna hit this button one more time. just does the same thing. Oh, why? So, it's a sand puzzle. I'm not as familiar with this form of puzzle. I wonder if there's another button somewhere to drop more sand? Because I don't see how to really do anything the amount of sand that I'm presented with. I don't see something to, like, catapult off of to get me higher. Hmm. Sand puzzle. That lever took me to the door. This I can't get to yet because I don't know the combination. All right, let's think about this real quick. Uh, once more. It's been a while since Mick got me on a puzzle. I see a button there, so I do have to get up there somehow. interesting is that it only drops sand on, like, half of the... It only drops sand on half of the hole. Is there another button somewhere in this room that I can hit? Of your head, the numbers are red. Don't see any numbers. Just randomly guessing isn't going to help. I have. Do I need to advance? That doesn't make sense. Why would I be given a clue like that? don't think I can advance up this pile of sand quite yet. I hate to admit it, but I might actually be stuck. Above your head, numbers are red. Above your head, the numbers are red. Red. Above your head, the numbers are red. Uh, 
What about three, four? I'm curious if these logs have anything to do with this. Like one, two, three, four? Nope. That was a silly idea. Can I use this sand to go up? appears to be all the higher that I can go, and I can't make that jump. Now, I hate to admit it, but I do believe that uh, I'm stuck. But we'll look at one more thing here, and then I might have to go ask our benevolent lord and savior that for some assistance. I don't see another push button here. Or another push button that I have access to. Oh, I totally with that. I think that I need to get... I suspect there's a push button underneath here that I need to gain access to. To... Wait, above your head, the numbers are red? Above your head, the numbers are red. How above my head? Don't th think I can get back up out of this dungeon. So the answer to advance is down here. I am just unsure where. And I can't move this log, so that's not going to give me a boost. Unfortunately, for the time being, I am stuck. So when we come back next time, I'm going to solve this puzzle, whatever it entails. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.